Thyroid surgery, known as thyroidectomy, is usually performed for one of three reasons. First, thyroid glands that are overactive, either in a condition known as Graves' disease, or in glands that contain a nodule that produces too much thyroid hormone, can be treated with medications or surgery. Secondly, some thyroid glands may enlarge in size or may contain nodules that grow to be quite large. When that happens, the gland or nodule may compress surrounding structures in the neck or chest. This can cause breathing problems, swallowing problems, a choking sensation, a chronic cough, or a variety of other symptoms. Thyroidectomy can provide relief of symptoms for properly selected patients. Lastly, the thyroid gland has a tendency to form nodules or lumps. Most of these nodules, about 95%, are benign. Patients with thyroid nodules usually undergo evaluation to determine whether the nodule could be cancerous. If cancer is possible or suspected, thyroid surgery is indicated. Thyroid surgery can be done in a variety of ways depending on the situation. All thyroid surgery requires a thorough understanding of the regional anatomy by the operating surgeon. The thyroid gland resides in the lower part of the neck. It is butterfly or bow tie shaped with lobes on either side of the windpipe connected by a strip of tissue called the isthmus. Lying behind the lobes on either side are several important structures. Among these are nerves going to the vocal cords. One set of these nerves comes from below and the other comes from above. Injury to these nerves during thyroid surgery can result in temporary or permanent changes to the voice. Another important set of structures is the parathyroid glands. These tiny caramel colored glands tend to regulate our calcium level by producing a hormone called thyroid hormone. Successful thyroid surgery results in normal calcium regulation postoperatively. Thyroid surgery usually involves making an incision in the lower neck through which the surgeon gains access to the thyroid gland, sometimes using a telescope and endoscopic instruments to assist with the procedure. Some thyroid surgical techniques use incisions elsewhere on the body and employ a surgical robot or other telescopic techniques to perform the surgery. Regardless of the approach or technique, thyroid surgery involves removal of part or all of the thyroid gland. Sometimes lymph nodes are removed in addition to the thyroid gland. When the procedure is finished, the wound or wounds are closed. A surgical drain is usually not necessary. The surgery can take less than an hour or it may take several hours depending on why the surgery is being done the extent of the disease, and other factors. Oftentimes, thyroid surgery can be done as an outpatient procedure. Recovery time is usually seven to 10 days. Medications, including thyroid hormone replacement, are coordinated with the patient's endocrinologist and are tailored to each patient's sp specific condition.